Yesterday we washed all the outside of the boat, the hull, the deck and the cockpit. It was a pretty long day. We had a very small short night after that. Valérie is already outside working because today we are preparing the takeoff of the mast. There's a lot of different steps we have to go through and we are going to explain what we are doing. We know that there are different ways to do that. We're just going to show you how uh, we do it. But if you have any ideas or techniques or any tips to give us, you can of course let some comments uh, beside the video. The mast is held by different cables called the rigging. Basically, there are the forestay in the front, the backstay at the rear and several shrouds on each side of the mast. All of these elements make the rigging which is attached up to the mast and down to the deck by the turnbuckles on stainless steel plates. So what Valérie is doing here is checking that all the pins can be removed easily from the chain plate. Then he put them back in place just tight enough so they play their role and prevent the mast from falling down, but not so tight so he could remove them quickly when the crane's here. The second task we have to take care of is to remove the boom. Actually, we have a little problem with it because the boom is attached with the, an element to the mast and this element is kind of stick to it. So we'll need to find out how to remove it. As we were removing the boom and the boom vang, we could notice that all of these elements were in a very good condition. We didn't find any broken parts and that was a good start. Valérie is wondering whether the boom vang is a bit too small for the size of the boat and her rigging. But as it has been designed like this by the engineers and the builders, the boomerang is surely perfectly made. The mast on Ohio is set on the keel, which means that it goes through the roof inside to the saloon. This kind of rigging provides a good quality and strength in the unit mast hull keel when sailing. It also brings safety as this system is very solid.
although the disadvantage is based on the space between the mast and the mast hull, where both sea and rainwater can flow down into the bilge. To prevent this from happening, you have to find the best fabric to seal this hull tight. And that part can be tricky. Here, we are getting rid of this old material that has been put around the mast hull. But it was so damaged over time that it was very hard to cut it off and remove completely. Before being ready for the crane to lift up the mast, we keep continuing to remove as many pieces as we could, such as this winch on the mast, formerly used under the boom. The last step was to make sure that there will not be any corrosion between the foot of the mast and the steel plate where it lies that could stick. Our technique is probably not the best, but it proved to be very efficient in the past. We simply pour boiling water with some white vinegar on the bottom of the mast, avoiding carefully the electrical wires. On our way to Port Saint Louis du Rhône, we are used to see all these wind turbines. They are very impressive, so we decided to, to check if we could access to the road to be a little bit closer to them and see all the wind form, which is actually just amazing. They are very big and they make this sound, like you just hear the wind going through all the pails and it's it's weird but it's impressive and on the landscape you can see all the shadow just turning and turning around it's it's beautiful this is amazing just to think that this kind of installation actually generates energy and power for electricity and everything so it's it's pretty nice we are in the beginning of uh, the Camargue which is a big natural places with a lot of different protected areas you have a lot of um, different spices like birds and frogs and plants which are protected over here it's it's quite a famous place and it's it's really amazing and one of the specific thing here is that 
you are right in the middle between um, an old industrial area with a lot of different factories and actually a lot of pollution and the the very beginning of the of this natural protected area so it's quite typical Day today we are taking down the mast. The rain is here just to keep us company. Fortunately the wind didn't come so the crane can work. It came into position along the mast so the crane upper hook can be tied up around the upper part of the mast. For that operation, no less than three guys were required. Of course, one is in the crane cabin to maneuver it. A second operator stays on the deck to assure the good hanging when the mast will be lifted up. And finally, the third is guiding the mast from the inside of the boat preventing anything to happen. Removing the mast of your boat is a stressful operation. This is a major, heavy and difficult to maneuver element on a sailing boat. You do not want to risk and damage it. Nevertheless, with a good prep of the wigging, the mast itself and an awesome teamwork to help, it took us less than 30 minutes with the crane to lift the mast up and lay it properly alongside the boat. Now it is time to remove the rigging elements left of the mast. So Valerie is operating on the turnbuckles and pulleys. He is removing very carefully the baby stay, the back stay, then the two runners and the six shrouds that hold the mast. In the end, Valérie is taking off the four spreaders that hold originally all the shrouds.
he's putting on labels on each of the rigging cables so we will know which one is which when time will come to reattach them back on. I just came straight from work this week. Actually, Valerie removed the masts. So this is a this was a big port, a very important one. So we can work on the mast, make it all good, check every part of it if it's uh, all in good condition. That way we can also uh, work on the electricity because there's a lot of different wires that came through the mast. Also, we can put um, all the, the rigging back and have it uh, checked and all ready to go and sail. Thanks a lot for watching this episode. We are so happy to share this new step in our boat work with all of you. Don't forget to like and share it. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel Sailing Ohio. This is a free way to sustain our video production. Make us know if you have any questions in the comment area. We will be glad to answer. For those who want to help us more and enjoy this time spent in our company, become a Patreon. The link is right below the video. Bye bye!